Yeah, you heard Courtney talk about it. Uh, I know that the backlog of old containers, because that fee has not been implemented, but the scare of the fee pushed down that backlog by, I think, 64% combined with you and Long Beach. So that's working. But I still, when I look at the maps, see a lot of ships either offshore or sort of down in Mexico waiting to come up. How much better, if at all, has the, the port backlog uh, really gotten over the last couple of weeks and months? Good morning, Brian, and it is great to be back in the studio. You're right. The metrics that we look at very closely are improving. Of the cargo ships that have left Asia traversing the Pacific but not yet here into the port complex, that number is down from a peak of 109 vessels to 43 as of last night. Now, in more normal times, the Port of Los Angeles has about 30 services that call on a weekly basis. If you add the new entrance to the trade and the one-time charter hires by some of the retailers, you're almost in that weekly service slot. We've got to focus now as an industry on getting those ships back on to a fixed weekly service schedule that delivers certainty into the market. Yeah, the backlog seems to have gotten better in part because of slow steaming. Ships are literally slowing down as they come from China. We moved some there to Mexico. I know that your crews have been working around the clock, the truckers, everybody, the ILWU, uh, working their cans off to literally get the cans out, <laughs> as they call them, uh, of the ports. But now we've got this new pseudo lockdowns in China, not hitting the ports quite yet, but it's always that specter. If we get another lockdown in Shenzhen or one of these major ports, Gene, what's going to happen? I think what we'll see, Brian, is a short term lull with shutdowns of factories, which we're watching most closely. On the ocean side, you can move ships around from terminal to terminal, from port to port, especially in South China, in the Pearl River Delta area. But if a factory shuts down, that's it. Hopefully it's for a short period of time, and that'll be met with a pretty quick return to catch up on purchase orders and get back into the groove on moving the cargo off the factory floor and into containers. On the, uh, on the ground in Los Angeles, as an example, over the last 30 days, cargo moving out into the domestic economy here in the U.S. is up 16 yep. percent versus where we were back in the fourth quarter of last year. So what you rightly said about those aging containers, we've worked those down. There's still much more to do in that area, but we're starting to see yep. real push on the domestic side. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.